Hi there, I hope everyone good day. Welcome back to another video. What we have here today is a brand new budget shoe from Adidas. 85 bucks, possibly even cheaper later on with some discounts. And this is the Adidas Bounce Legends. So the retail price for these is 85 US dollars, but I'm pretty sure they will go on sale at some point. For those of you in the US, they should be available on the Adidas site. Um, yeah, later on, maybe even soon, you'll probably see these discounted or at the outlet, just like most of their other basketball shoes nowadays. It is a very typical Adidas budget shoe. They use Bounce once again, and pretty much just decided to throw another name on it. But looking at it in a good way, performance is really solid and it's a pretty rare mid to high top budget shoe. You know, most brands are flooding the market with low top shoes these days. Anyways, if you love budget shoes and prefer a higher cut around the ankle, this is a very nice and safe option. So let's jump right into how these guys perform on the court. Because this is really just a standard budget shoe, uh, we're gonna quickly skip over the unboxing. Um, there really is nothing special. Two things that you need to know. One is very obvious. Technology featured here is Bounce just like a lot of their other budget shoes. I would say that the missile feels softer than the Harden Setback 3 and Dame Certified. Same level as the Trey Unlimited. Two is that this is not only a high top, but it also comes with the eyelids covered inside, sitting on top of the mesh top. With this type of a lacing system, lockdown and containment are usually pretty good, like the recent Luca 2, and that is the case with these guys. Weight is about average, slightly on the heavier side, at 450 grams for size 10 and a half. But uh, on feet, they feel just fine. I definitely don't consider them as a heavy shoe. So let's talk about the cushion setup. For a budget shoe, I think this is honestly better than average. Adidas seems to have made Bounce a little bit softer on the recent models, based on my experience. So this missile feels just like the Trey Unlimited. You get a responsive feedback underneath. Impact protection is decent too. You know, one common problem on a lot of cheaper models offered by different brands is that landings can feel stiff with the lack of tech but these are fine and they're pretty bouncy. This shoe really didn't take much of a break in time for me and they're pretty comfortable in general. Moving on to the traction, so here's what the also looks like. It has these pods on the forefoot and heel with a herringbone traction pattern inside the pods. Otherwise, it's a simple line pattern. Dust pickup was okay. Uh, it was actually really easy to wipe off and I think they are good for outdoor use. So traction performance was great. I had no issues with it and it's a pretty squeaky also that stops really well. With the fit, these are true to size. They're about average width. Going true to size was the perfect fit for me as uh, someone with slightly wider feet. Not too tight or snug around the midfoot. Just a tiny bit of padding inside. I should also mention that the upper has mostly a textile material. Quite a lot of fusing like surrounding the toe box and on the lateral side near the three stripes. The materials didn't cause any discomfort for me, but for its price and build, I also wouldn't say that it's got excellent lateral containment. It is a flexible upper that bends fairly easily. Breathability is gonna be average at best because it isn't a thin mesh and not a whole lot of ventilation with this setup. Maybe the biggest highlights are the lockdown and stability. My feet did feel very secure inside. Going up and down, I really like the containment. And yeah, ankle support is better than most other budget shoes too, with the higher cut. Overall, I would say that the Bounce Legends is better than what I expected. Traction is good, you get a nice little bounce in your movements, not much of a stiff feeling on feet. Uh, most importantly, it's got a very secure lockdown for a budget shoe well below 100 bucks. Should be quite a few colorways out there to choose from, and I think they look pretty nice too. It's got a simple but futuristic style to it. But let me know how you feel about these down in the comments. If you watched this far, don't forget to drop a like and consider subscribing to stay updated for more budget shoes coming up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.